country is in a very dark place right now. But even after everything the deep state has done to me, I will never give up on America. Mark my words, in 2024, we will win back the White House. We will make America great again. I have no doubt about it. They come at me from left. They come at me from right. The rhinos, the communists, the Marxists, the fascists. We will not only survive, we will be stronger than ever before. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Merch link is in the description section. Also, my wife has a brand new store. ShopFreedomUniversity.com. ShopFreedomUniversity.com. If you don't remember that, link will be in the description section. Go on there. She got the coldest merch in the game. To be honest, her store is doing better than mine. Anyway, link is in the description section for both of those stores. Like, subscribe to the channel. Let's get into this. Everybody and their mama is going in a frenzy about Donald Trump getting indicted. Um, there's two factions, I would say three factions, maybe four factions. You have the factions of people, they don't care what the facts are, they hate Donald Trump, he, he's wrong, he's guilty, they want him to be dead in prison. Um, you have the faction that, is, that are on the left that are saying they don't care, but they're not in favor of Trump. You have the right side, which is the faction number three, that says that they don't care, but they're in favor of Trump. And then you have the right side that says no, no matter what happened, um, Trump is, could do no wrong. So let me just give you my opinions about this. I, I, I am not encouraged whatsoever to believe that the justice system is acting in good faith. Zero. I, I have zero indication. Good faith in no way, form, or fashion. Even if he has committed some crimes, they still aren't acting in good faith. And the reason that I say that is that even if he had classified documents that he shouldn't have had or whatever, he should have returned them, they asked him to return them, they're not acting in good faith because they're not pursuing anybody else for the same crime. You talk about January 6th and denying an election. Hillary Clinton denied an election, got an investigation started on a fake dossier. I'm about to lose my mind. I'm about to lose my mind today. How is it that they get to do what they do and then we go to jail for stuff that they did? Donald Trump, okay, it was ignorant. It was mindless for him to even waste his time trying to have a protest and do a rally in front of the Capitol because we knew they were going to try to find anything that they could to blame on Trump. I wouldn't have been surprised if they hadn't had a terrorist attack, frame it like it was a Trump supporter, and blame it all on Trump so he'll never be able to run for president again. I, I, Stevie Wonder could see that they were setting him up for the twist. And I don't understand how we fell for it. Okay, of course, it was ignorant, dumb, negligent. You name it, it was dumb. And people that went in the Capitol building, it was dumb, pointless, irrational. Because if you ain't going in the Capitol to actually do something, then what are you doing? Y'all going to just tootle around in the, in the Capitol building? Pointless. You wasted your time. For what? What did you get out of this? Nothing. There was never going to be nothing unless you actually went into the Capitol and you actually took over where they could not finish the vote. You actually took over the Capitol building. You were in control of the Capitol building. If you ain't doing all that, then what are y'all even doing? Now, with all of that being said, all of that being said, how is that a crime if a man is giving a speech telling people not to protest, uh, not to be violent. He questions the election. And people, go, they have an autonomy to go off and do what, whatever they want to do. Whether they broke into the thing or not. How is that his fault when he told them not to do it? Impaired the federal government from functioning. Isn't that literally the Republican Party platform <laughs> to, to reduce the ability of the federal government from functioning? And then they say... It's a crime to ask Pence not to certify? I wonder if Pence would agree that that was a crime. Uh, apparently, the campaign managers told the defendant, Donald Trump, he had a 5 to 10 percent chance of, of winning these challenges, but he still fought on, the indictment said. How dare he? With 5 to 10 percent chance, I wonder what the guys in Vegas would say. You now have suspicious activity in Philadelphia, Detroit, and Arizona and Nevada. 
They're going to have to litigate suspicious election activity in all of those states. They're going to be presenting evidence. The defense is going to be presenting evidence. And then the prosecution is going to have to knock that down. We're going to relitigate all of these deep blue Democrat districts over the entire country in court in 2024 in an election year. That's really, do you think that's healthy for the country, Jonathan Turley? And do you think that's a road that Democrats want to go down to defend the integrity of Philadelphia's election security? And then they're saying, the, Trump said the voting machines weren't secure. Again, we're going back to voting machines at trial in court in an election year. We're going to bring in voting machine executives who explain everything's fine and then they're up on cross-examination. We're going to go through that again, Jonathan Turley. And, and, and then lastly, they're saying lying about an election is illegal. Well, then Hillary, lock her up. John Kerry, too. Is it a crime to question the election? If it is, then Hillary Clinton should be in prison. Everybody that questioned the Al Gore Bush uh, election should be in prison. Because it makes no sense to me. Hillary Clinton said he wasn't a legitimate president. I can play you a I can play you a whole twenty minutes of all these Democrats saying Donald Trump was not elected legally. They said illegally, illegally. They say he was an illegitimate president. They claimed that Russia colluded with him. Him and Russia colluded so he could steal the election. They said it out of their own mouths. Then they created a fake dossier, fake evidence, FISA court. They did all this investigation. They, they, they pursued investigating Trump for these false claims, which to me interfered in the midterm election and interfered in the 2020 election. They did all of this for like three years. It was a nothing burger. It was never going to be something. It was always bull crap. How can you win with Russian interference, though? That's, That's the real thing. That's what I'm scared about no, in 2020. But, but rightly. Because right. I think he's an illegitimate president that didn't really win. So how do you... You know, fight against that in 2020. You are absolutely right. He's an illegitimate president in my mind. Would you be my vice president of Canada? <laughs> Folks, look, I absolutely agree. Trump didn't actually win the election in 2016. He lost the election and he was put into office because the Russians interfered. Trump knows he's an illegitimate president. The president elect, although legally elected, is not legitimate. I don't see this president elect as a legitimate president. You said you believe that Russia's interference altered the outcome of the election. I do. We have a president who, if in fact it is proven, uh, has been assisted by the Russians and may in fact not be a legitimate president. The one thing that Trump is fearful of uh, when it comes to his being president is that finally we will see how illegitimate his victory actually was. I have an objection. I object to the 15 votes from the state of North Carolina. I object because people are horrified. He's an illegitimate president. Do you believe Trump is a legitimate president? What I believe is that there's no question that the outcome of this election was affected by the Russian interference. But there absolutely is a cloud of illegitimacy. So that legitimacy is in question, yes. So that was a very tainted election. And and in that sense, it's illegitimate. Why do you think the president is going to such great lengths to essentially prove that he beat you? Because he knows he didn't. He knows he's an illegitimate president. Stolen emails. Stolen drone. Stolen drone. Stolen election. Welcome to the world of unprecedented Trump. So do you believe President Trump is an illegitimate president? Based on what I just said, which I can't retract. <laughs> <laughs> the Russian attempt to, ha to have the election, and frankly, the FBI is uh, weighing in on the election. I think make the make, makes his election illegitimate. There was a widespread understanding that this election was not on the level. We still don't know what really happened, Isaac. I mean, there's just a lot that I think will be revealed. History will discover. But you don't win by three million votes and have all this other shenanigans stuff going on and not come away with an idea like, whoa, something's not right here. I don't trust the justice system at all at this point when it comes to fair prosecution. Mike Pence had documents in his house. Biden had documents in, in their houses, in his house, not only in his house, in the library, somewhere else. All of a sudden, we never heard about these documents until now. And what they did was they put it out there and, and, and they, and they, they uh, quashed it. They put it out there and say, oh, it, see, he has it, but there's nothing to see. Okay, we're over it. He had documents in there since he was a vice president. 
He had uh, classified documents since the vice president. No way in the world he should be able to have classified documents. And, and, and if he did, it definitely wouldn't be fair to have it in the way in which Trump had him. But what did they do to Biden? Nothing. Son is a crackhead. Making money overseas, doing dirty deals, doing the fairest things. Nothing happened to him. Nothing, 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 nothing. Now, this is my thing. What are we going to do about it? Yeah, we know they indicted Trump three times, whatever. What are we going to do about it? That's the question. What are we going to do? I don't care to hear what happened. It's what are we going to do about it? It ain't even about Trump specifically at this point. It's, you know, and I say specifically, it's not about Trump in its entirety. He's a product of what the, they're trying to do to us. What are we going to do in return? I tell you, these politicians need to do their job. That's a start. Biden should be impeached a long time ago. He should be impeached the first day he got in office. He should have been impeached. Articles of impeachment should have been pursued. So we as Republicans need to do our job. Call these people on the carpet. Let me play this clip from uh, special counsel Jack Smith so you can kind of hear the press conference uh, statement about his indictment against Donald Trump. Roll clip one. Today, an indictment was unsealed, charging Donald J. Trump with conspiring to defraud the United States, conspiring to disenfranchise voters, and conspiring and attempting to obstruct an official proceeding. The indictment was issued by a grand jury of citizens here in the District of Columbia, and it sets forth the crimes charged in detail. I encourage everyone to read it in full. The attack on our nation's capital on January 6, 2021, was an unprecedented assault on the seat of American democracy. As described in the indictment, it was fueled by lies, lies by the defendant targeted at obstructing a bedrock function of the U.S. government, the nation's process of collecting, counting, and certifying the results of the presidential election. What a coward. If I saw that guy on the street, I could not confirm or deny I'd slap him. He would do nothing but sit and cry in the corner. These people, you can see it in their face, they ain't nothing but cowards. But what do we? What, what have we done when we had power? And I'm going to say this and I'm going to say it because I'm upset about this. I don't want to hear us complain. When I say us, Trump, Republican, what, what y'all complaining for? Y'all had the House, the Senate, and the presidency. Donald Trump had the presidency. Donald Trump is responsible for appointing the FBI director, appointing the attorney general. What like we failed? Can we? Can we? And, and a lot of people want to make excuses. Well, he was new to the man. I don't give a flying flip who knew to what. We didn't do. We get. We didn't get the job done. We didn't appoint nobody. Jeff Sessions recused himself from the very beginning. He didn't do nothing. We didn't do nothing. And we sitting here being and complaining. About what they doing. Oh, a Biden administration. What did we do? We had a Trump administration. He Trump has the power to select or fire the FBI director. And look who he picked. And now the FBI director is investigating him. We we didn't pick we didn't pick the right people. Nobody cares. You, you, nobody cares what experience you had or didn't have. Did you get the job done? You go on a police call and you have to save somebody's life. Nobody cares if you're a rookie or you're a veteran. Did you save their life or did you not save their life? And, and, and like we need to start keeping it real. You don't, it, that don't mean you don't like Trump for saying it, but, but come on, man. Let's keep it real. Why didn't we pick the right people? Why has there always got to be an excuse? Why has there always got to be? But, what, but, 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 he, but he could do no wrong. Everybody else is wrong. Why is it that he don't have discernment? And how do we know he's going to have better discernment next time? Because you just hope so? Are we going to pick some dogs in here? Are we going to just sit here and let, let the time go by and let the Democrats just bludgeon us? 
God is my witness. Republicans have been weak. That's why we're in a position right now where a Republican former president is getting indicted. You've never seen a Democrat do that. Hold a phone. I'll be back at the break. Let's look specifically about the former president and uh, the, the support before we get to the focus group that you did. The support that he has in, nationally has grown since February. 12 points since February. And DeSantis, who was just right behind him at a time, is now even further behind him. Who are these people who aren't part, maybe necessarily, of like that Trump core, what we call the Fifth Avenue Republicans, who, you know, he famously says, I could shoot somebody on Fifth Avenue and those people will support me. But the people on top of that who are looking at everything that's going on that happened on January 6th and they're saying, OK, I'll throw my support behind Donald Trump. The, the, OK, the less educated you are, the more likely you are to support Donald Trump. Lower income People have been unemployed at some point in the last five years. It's a socioeconomic level that was once a Democratic voter. More evidence tonight that the Republican Party truly is Donald Trump's party. New uh, Siena College New York Times polling that shows Republican voters favoring him by 54 to 17 percent over his nearest rival, Ron DeSantis. There were 26 different demographic groups that got broken down. You know how many of those groups Donald Trump didn't lead amongst? No. Zero. He led in every single... These were just Republican voters. Just Republican voters, right? This and nationwide. Correct. Nationwide Republican voters. He led in all 26 groups, including his weakest groups. Those with a college degree still favor Trump by double digits. Those making more than $100,000 per year favor Trump by double digits. Is there any evidence that, you know, if the field were to winnow... Well, what would the data show? If, in fact, you eliminate all the other candidates besides Ron DeSantis, and it's just a matchup between Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis, guess who wins? Let me guess. Donald Trump. Donald Trump wins by over 30 points in that match. Kristen, uh, there, I want to ask about politics. There's a New York Times Siena College poll out today. It asked registered voters nationwide last week if the 2024 presidential election were right now, who would get your vote? And it's a dead heat between President Biden and former President Trump, 43 percent each. But when you look at the voters who say, I don't like either of them right now, Biden gets a slight edge. I'm wondering if that means that the impact of all these indictments might be greater politically than what we have thought, Kristen? Well, it could be. I think that's the key, Kate. It's possible that these indictments are starting to have an impact on the general election, and that could have an impact on independent voters, for example, who could be crucial in this next general election. Think about what happened in 2020. President Biden beat former President Trump among independents 42 to 37 percent. So think about that. But think about the primary. We have only seen former President Trump get stronger, become more emboldened with each new indictment. In fact, we've seen a real spike in terms of his fundraising every time one of these new indictments comes down. I love Donald Trump, but man, we had an opportunity that we fumbled. And, and, and as a lot of people in my comment section, when I see on social media, they make so many excuses. It doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter that it's Trump. It just mattered that we had this position of power and we fumbled the bag. We had an opportunity where we control the FBI and we didn't clean up the FBI. We had an opportunity where we could we can appoint people in positions of power for us to completely run the executive branch of the government. We, we also had. The House of Representatives, I mean, we always had Congress. We had Congress, too. We had the House and Senate majority and the presidency. We had an opportunity to go after Hillary Clinton for the crimes that she committed against this country. We did nothing. The president did nothing. And people say, well, he didn't know. Well, well, that's not my fault. You think the Democrats sitting over there saying who knew who didn't know? They going for they going all the way in. But uh, uh, Joe Biden had documents. Uh, classified documents in his house. They, they showed it. Trump's whole administration, Biden had documents at his house. We didn't pursue Biden for the documents at his house. We knew they were there. We knew they were there at his, at his library. We did nothing. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just throwing the facts out here. I ain't got time to simp for nobody. I'm putting out the facts. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be in a world of hurt if we don't start making some better decisions. We fumbled the bag when we had the, the presidency. 
And the fumbling of the bag led to one of our best presidents, maybe the best president in my lifetime, indicted on three indictments. Fumbling the bag got Trump indicted three times, impeached twice and indicted three times, and got a dead man as president. That's us fumbling the bag. We only not we not only fumbled the bag because we did nothing while we had power. Significantly, we made some good strides with the economy. We did some things that could, we didn't drain the swamp whatsoever. We did we did we drain the swamp? Everybody out there, did we drain the swamp? We had four years. Did we drain the swamp? One bit. No, we didn't. We controlled the FBI. Didn't even drain the FBI. We 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 drained nothing. What are we even talking about? Four years of pres four years of a Republican president, House Senate, we did nothing. Okay, let's move on. What are we going to do about this? It's enough of the name calling. It's enough of the at how many attacks. Enough of the uh, of the what I wish I wish I could have. What are we going to do today? Who are we going to pick? How are we going to go after these crooks? I still don't hear nobody talking about Hillary Clinton going down. Hillary Clinton's foundation was probably one of the most crooked foundations that we've ever seen, allegedly. They, they, they were getting hundreds of thousands of dollars for Hillary and Bill Clinton to speak in places. They're not that incredible speaking. They're getting hundreds of thousands to speak. All of a sudden, when she's not president, they have no money coming into the, camp, into the, into the foundation, allegedly. Why, did, why, why didn't the DOJ go after them? Why didn't we go after any of their crimes? Why, like, what, what happened? We had the House and the Senate. We could have been doing these hearings uh, on Hunter Biden back then. We didn't know that Hunter Biden was doing this. Hunter Biden was doing this when Biden was vice president. And while we're in a position of power, we don't even look into it. We don't do an investigation. We don't look into it. We don't order the, the FBI to look into it. We don't order the DOJ to look into it. We do nothing. But we be and complain about what the Democrats are doing. Uh, the Biden administration, the Biden DOJ. Well, we had a Trump DOJ. We had a Trump administration. We had a Trump FBI, and we did nothing. Completely failed. Completely failed. But some people ain't, ain't willing to even say that out their mouth because they, they're in a cult. We failed. Now, how do we not let this happen again? Trump, you the man. Everybody's looking up to you. 99% of us are going to vote for you. Nobody else has, has surpassed Trump at this point. You got the vote. What are you going to do when you get into positions of power? What alliances are you going to make because you and DeSantis arguing is pointless? What, 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 what collaborations, what alliances... What people are you going to bring to the forefront? What people are you going to add in your administration that's going to get something done this time? That's going to really hold people accountable this time. That's going to lead the FBI and filter out all the garbage this time. DOJ, filter out all the garbage this time. Hold the phone. I'll be back after the break.